So according to several reports doing the rounds today, it could be a case of Rafa Mariccio Pochettino in. I'm Russ Nanton from the West Ham Network. Hope you're all safe and well. Now, as we said, there's been several reports that have done circulating today that um, former Tottenham PSG Espanyol manager Mauricio Pochettino wants in at West Ham. Um, <laughs> what's going on, Anton, mate? What's going on? I don't know, mate. It's the relentless news of the West Ham roller coaster that we're on. One minute it's Bielsa wants in, wants a long term contract at West Ham. And the next day it's Pochettino and then Sam Allardyce comes back out of the blue. <laughs> um, and we don't really know what's happening. But um, I mean, if there's any form of truth, anything in that Pochettino would consider taking a West Ham job, then I'm intrigued. Of course I am. I thought it would be silly apparently- not to be. No, exactly. I mean, the report states this is from Football Insider, and I think it's been and it's been covered by several other news sources that apparently, and it quotes, Mauricio Pochettino would be keen on taking over from David Moyes at West Ham. Football Insider understands that the West Ham board are aware of his availability, and he's interested in taking the job. Now, this does not say to me, although it, it doesn't say if he's sacked, he's going to take it. If, he, if, if Moyes gets sacked at the weekend, he's going to take it on the Monday. Because actually, it might mean he could be interested to take the job in the summer. It could be, because I don't know. It's just, it's so strange. Because obviously, we had the report back in last year, turn of maybe even during the, during the Christmas period. Um, I think the Daily Mail reported that apparently we had reached out to him and Tuchel and both rejected interest in the Hammers. So what's changed now? I can't see what's changed. I if don't know. More- I think it, it, it's quite, yeah, it's, it's a weird one. It's a really weird one because, you know, what, what are the rules and regulations? Like, what, what if, if there's truth to it, what are you thinking if you're Moyes? If there's no truth to it, then why is the news coming out? Um, we've got a long lasting history of, of news being leaked. Um, sometimes that news is not real, not fake. And, you know, maybe this can be a, a clever decision made by someone to release this news or maybe it's just completely fabricated and made up um essentially though i think me and you russ have spoken several times and said that when it comes to david moy's situation um you know if he wins something and west ham survive then i potentially think he's got the job long term longer term um and if he doesn't win a cup and survives, then it could be a change of manager. Mm. I think a cup and survival would mean that David Moyes be our manager next year. Um, if we survive in the league and don't win a cup, it could be a different manager. And obviously, if we go down and don't win a cup, then it will potentially. Yeah, I think happens, but... I think it's two conversations. As we said before, it's a conversation now to the end of the season. It's a conversation from the season onwards. And I said, obviously, what happens at the end of this season will will obviously accelerate the conversation to next week. But I think some of Pochettino, it's like I know he's. Yeah, you know, many of the West Ham fans you know, see him as a as a good you know as as a good follow up to David Moyes. Um, I totally agree. Obviously, he's a he's a very good manager, but I just think it's just so out. I mean, there's there's two things I can see about it. As you said, so things don't get leaked or or unless there's a reason for it. We had David Sullivan come out the other day saying there's no alternatives at the moment. Um, well, that was apparently he was he was quoting saying there's no alternatives out there. And then Pochettino has now said he's keen, which completely contradicts that. Also, Pochettino, I thought, was going to turn down the West Ham job because of the connection with, with uh, the rivalry with Spurs. And then also he was going to turn down the Chelsea job because of the connection with Chelsea and Spurs. Looks like Potter's not going to... I think, I think Potter will be all right, I think. I think they see him as a long-term project and, you know, they look at Arteta instead of what he did at Arsenal. Which I think the Chelsea fans won't like the fact... Well, say say that actually, a few Chelsea fans are actually quite. Or, you know, it's like fifty fifty. I think to be honest, because some of the Chelsea fans see what they're bringing. No, I think, in. No, I think they're. No, I think they're. I, I think they're happy with it. I think they're happy yeah. with the Potter decision. I think they're not happy about the comparison of using Arsenal as an example. I get is you. what I was trying I to say. Yeah, yeah, so I think yeah, I, I think you. you know they don't want to build their, they, they, what Chelsea would want to be would be the people spearheading that by being the first team rather than Arteta. But yeah. you know what, sticking with Arteta has proven to do wonders for Arsenal as it stands. You know, even if they don't win the league, like things have transitioned. And I suppose that's where we're at as, as a club. We, You know, the grass isn't always greener. We, we we have had two fantastic seasons that people get pissed off with. Um, and people are getting pissed off with this season. So what's the right answer? Nobody knows. But if it's, if it's, if it's, if, if, you know, if 
we can do something this season and survive. If we win a cup and survive, Russ, mm. then this season could go down as my favourite season in the weirdest manner because we've had a crap Premier League campaign, but we've won a cup in, in our <laughs> lifetime, which yeah. would be extremely odd, but we would have three successful seasons in a row. And it would be next season. You know, we, we you'd have to push on. You, you've had your transitional year. I've gone on all season about the transitional year. So you've had your mm. transitional year. So you, you, you need to back that up. Now you, you can't use the transitional season again. That's That's gone. That's mm. been and gone. But if we do get a new manager, then transition is going to have to kick in and you have to um, uh, trust in that faith. But you know what? I said all along, I would only be intrigued about a manager if someone came along that that intrigues me, that's interested. Um, there's only a few that are available right now that I would be interested about. I'm not necessarily mm. saying I want Bielsa. I think Bielsa is a big risk. I think there's a 50-50 approach attached to that. You could go completely opposite, like worse than what we are, or you could be excited and have excitable football and we could utilise the squad that we've got and he could get the best out of them. But So so mm. you just don't know what you're getting with Bielsa. Pochettino, obviously, look at the name, look what he's achieved in football and achieved with football in a in a, in a a lower, sorry, like even without money, actually, as well. Like he has had money and not had money and he's, he's proven to be good in what, what he's done. Um, obviously, he's now, or was at PSG, where they, they backed him in the in the window and stuff like that. So, um, so he's a young, enthusiastic, forward thinking manager. You can't deny. Doesn't matter what you think that you look at someone like Pochettino and you think, well, that's that's intriguing. Potter, yeah, intriguing. Mm -hmm. Bielsa, intriguing, but maybe a little bit more risky. Rafa Benitez, has a not single amount of interest. If he comes in a West Ham manager, I'll back him. I have not a single amount of interest in having Rafa Benitez as a West Ham manager, and I have no I interest that, in some of the unheard European names. If I'm being honest, in the current circumstances we're in, I don't yeah. think that would be good for us either. Yeah, and I think I think it. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And actually, I think with the Benitez thing, I think you know that's he he's he he wanted uh, and so Bielsa they both wanted rather than a six month deal, they wanted a you know, by all accounts a three and a half year deal. Um, and you know, would you sacrifice? swapping Moyes for three and a half years of Benitez? Probably not, in my yeah. opinion, in my opinion. I mean, the Pochettino thing is interesting. My also my, my also slight um, trepidation with, with sort of looking at this in more detail is that uh, obviously with Antene Conte and there's a definite I issue with Conte and uh, a lot of uh, some of the fan base at Spurs or quite a lot of the fan base and Spurs Spurs and obviously against Daniel Levy and, and and the board there was talk of maybe Poch going back to Tottenham and this could this could be one of those oh I, it's not just about Tottenham or I, I, I might go West Ham I'm quite interested about West Ham so it might be Poch's Poch's PR people I put in a slot because because those things happen we know that happens it, happens it, with yeah. transfers all the times I just don't see Poch going back to Spurs under the current ownership. Um, I, I don't think, I, I think, I mean, you've got to look at Anthony, Antonio Conte situation just now. You know, you can't help but think that, I know it's a ridiculous statement and, and, and it's easy for me to say, but to believe is a different ballgame. But you can't help but think when you listen to Conte, you think he wants to get sacked because, <laughs> you know, he's yeah. going to walk out with a shed load of money and, and um I don't think he is thinking like that, but it, it, it's, it's hard not to look at his situation and think, is he trying to actually physically get sacked from the job, realising it's not what he thought it was going to be? And, and Daniel Levy runs the ship that he does, and, um, and and it's not a ship that Conte wants to be part of. And I don't think Pochettino wants to be part of that Daniel Levy yeah. situation again either. So, you know, we always hear this situation that he doesn't go to clubs because there's rivalries, all that sort of stuff. If there's any truth in it, Russ, it's as simple as this. If there's any truth in it, we would be silly to not be intrigued i think i think yeah. I, I i'm hoping i'm right but i would be a little bit i don't know would i be concerned that that it, it, god i mean listen saturday is such a big game for us isn't it it's like yeah um, we're playing not of course a team that me you and many west ham fans have kind of slagged off for the amount of players they yeah. brought in yeah yeah um, yeah so many memes about it you know double decker buses turning up to training and stuff like that um all that sort of stuff so um we need to get a result on saturday and if we don't then you know you could see some something happen. Could see some movement. yeah you could see some movement yeah definitely i think there's no 
people under you know i'm under no apprehension no apprehension that's the right word but you know uh, no illusion rather that if we don't if we lose on sat- on saturday that's that could be the end of Moyes' reign and he knows it as well as i said we yeah. you know hammer headlines later on today uh we talk about um you know that little precursor but there's reports that danny ings is going to start on saturday um, and apparently he's gone, Moyes has gone against what he's usually done. Apparently he, he tells the team the day before of the, the lineup, but apparently they've they've known it since the beginning of the week type thing. And he's been in, and it's basically Ings is starting, whether that means two up front, I would imagine so possibly. So I can't see Ings playing on his own up front, but we know no. he, he sees Danny Ings as the, as, as the person who could basically save his ass, really. Yeah. Yeah, this season. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, at the end of the day, this is we we know this is speculation. We know this could be um, utter BS, but that's what we do. We report the we report what's been reported, yeah. isn't it? And we try and break it down and uh, validate Absolutely. it. And, and that's and that's the kind of you know. Th- there you go. There's the, the 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 what's the word I'm looking for? The um, declaration. There's a declaration from the start. You know, you as a subscriber who watches our channel kind of dictates to what we what we put out for you so we're bringing to you a speculation story and saying is there anything in it um we're not trying to drive the attention to there you know we've got a rant coming out later on about Declan Rice that's to show you that we can be transparent with with all different opinions that the channel's got as well so um you know me and Russ may have different opinion on certain things and me and Luke and Tommy and everyone else may have different opinions on it but it brings to you a, a good variety of things so that's why it would be silly for us not to report on some of the reports that are out there and that's what we're doing yeah, Pochettino to- you go. totally and let us know in the comments I know you I know most people I think would would love Pochettino to come in as a manager I think that's that that's sort of quite something which I think the fan base would relatively united. Um, but how likely are these stories? What do you well, think? There you go, Is Russ. It... Over to you. What's the Russ Ometer on? Russ Ometer. Thing is, I can't because I, you know, I, I it's it's awful as well because someone is still in a job. Yeah. So it's like I can't really because at the moment, until that person's not in the job, you can't say how likely it is for him to come through come through. I mean, I to be honest, part of me calls this bullshit. And it called, and I, and I still think there's that Tottenham link in there. And I think you know the fact that it's come so left field and so so out of out of yeah, it's completely come out of nowhere. You know, he was you know we've basically we were gonna we're gonna do a little rerun of our who could be the next manager of West Ham list coming up soon. And right at the beginning of last time, we discounted Tuchel and, and Pochettino because they both sort of declared themselves out. Now they put he's put his hat back in. Now the only thing it could be that maybe. Again, devil's advocate, maybe he was looking at the Spurs job and the Spurs job isn't going to happen for him. Yeah. They're not going to, yeah. Spurs aren't going to sell. That Levy's not going to sell and um, and Joe, Joe Lewis aren't going to sell. And so now he's looking for an alternative. Southampton, yeah. um, you know, they, 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 they could be looking around, but who else is he realistically going to go to in the top, say, top six? He's not going to go to Chelsea. So I think, I think Potts is, uh, Potter's Pot got the, Store, you know, he's got the seat there for a few, a couple of years while, while they're doing Great. a transition. Yeah. Um, Man United have just got a new manager. City are all right with Pep. And I mean, yeah, Liverpool, maybe. Klopp could be under pressure, maybe. Uh, Arsenal aren't. He's, he'd never go to Arsenal, I'd imagine, because of the Tottenham connection. So then you're looking down. He's not going to go to Newcastle because Eddie Howe's there. So you're looking further, further down. And it probably West Ham's probably the next uh, potential available job. So he's just trying to rule league. out. I wouldn't necessarily rule out um, the Newcastle situation, to be honest. Maybe not, but yeah, but maybe not. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, I, th- I think that for me, he's he's he could be just putting the feelers out. Yeah, because he wants to get back in. So there we go. Anyway, guys, as you said, we've got loads of stuff coming up. We had um, we had uh, the little review show of the under 18s uh, getting through to the semi-finals. That was. Uh, this morning we had Greg for the Forest fan um, doing a, an opposition chat, which is great fun. Uh, and then we've got Hammer's headlines coming up in a bit. Sorry, we've got quite a lot of this, but we wanted to bring you this Pochettino video, this video as well. Hammer's headlines coming out later on, and then we've got Root, uh, Root Luke doing a rant. Um, although Luke being livid, Luke being livid, Luke, Luke livid, Luke, Luke is, is livid. livid. Luke, I think it should be Luke's livid, livid. Oh, but then that sounds like he owns it. But anyway, so t- so take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble. Don't forget tomorrow is actually as well. It's Europa Conference League draw tomorrow. We'll be doing it live. We'll be on from whenever Anton switches and is ready to go on live. But um, the actual draw is at twelve o'clock. But we'll be yeah. on on live before then. So cool. Take care. See you later. Bye, bye. bye. bye.